What intellectual property does Neuralink have in its arsenal? 11 utility patents. Some of you guys might have heard of Neuralink recently after the FDA just granted them FDA approval for inhuman testing. Neuralink was founded in 2016 by Elon Musk and Max Hodak. What does Neuralink's technology do? Neuralink has created a device called Link that allows people to interact with user interfaces using their thoughts alone. The device is surgically implanted into the human brain, extending into the brain tissues and processes neurological signals. This can be a big step forward in technology, especially for people with visual impairments and other disabilities. Elon Musk has gone as far to say that this technology can be used to treat paralysis, blindness, and other mental health issues. So how many patents does Neuralink have under its belt? It has 11 issued patents and several others pending. These patents cover not just the device, but also the signal processing and the circuitry and technology underlying how the neurological signals are processed. In addition, they also have patents covering the actual surgical device, the surgical operations, and procedures involved with doing these implantations. One of these patents even covers using a laser to drill a hole through the skull into the brain. Can Elon's team monetize these patents? These patents can certainly be monetized if the company is able to obtain FDA approval, but then also have market adoption. As you can see by a lot of these patents, this is very revolutionary technology, and I'm not sure how many of you are ready to actually have one of these implanted into your brain. Neuralink's published patent applications will tell us a lot about their path forward. They filed many applications in 2019, and those are now being examined and are now publicly available. Also in 2019, Musk and his team delivered a live stream that disclosed a lot of what was to come. Does Neuralink have a leg up over its competitors? A Spanish competitor called InBrain Neuroelectronics told Sifted that Neuralink will underperform compared to their chip, which has been in development for over eight years. InBrain co-founder Carolina Aguilar says that one of the key differences between their technology and Neuralink has to do with the materials they use for their device. InBrain uses graphene, which tends to have more longevity, whereas Neuralink uses a polymer that tends to degrade more quickly in the brain. Neuralink no doubt has groundbreaking technology, but also has the patent portfolio to back it up, and is really interesting to see their published patent applications, which will indicate possible directions the company will be going.